How to use a power supply tester Have you ever had a problem with the peripheral such as a hard drive, memory, or the DVD player? You replace these devices only to find that you are having the same issue? Main problems including those with memory, motherboard, and processors may be caused by a faulty power supply. Today we will show you how to use a power supply tester so you can detect a faulty power supply. Before we begin let us first familiarize ourselves with many different types of connectors on a power supply. Your main power supply cable is either 20 pin or 24 pin ATX main power cable. Some power supplies come with a 20 plus 4 ATX main power. Another cable connected to your motherboard is the 4 pin ATX 12 volts power cable. You see that comes as a single 4 pin connector or you could have two 4 pins going together making it an 8 pin connector. A lot of power supplies these days also have 6 pin PCI express power cable. Also, under power supplies you will have several connectors for peripheral devices. You will have a 4 pin connector probably several of them. One floppy drive connector. As well as several SATA connectors. These other connectors for your hard drive, DVD, and other peripheral devices. For this demonstration, we are going to use this power supply tester. This is available at XBGP's own at parts and computer accessories. There are many different brands but they are pretty much all work the same way. To start with, plug both the ATX 24 pin motherboard power connector and ATX 4 pin motherboard power connector into the power supply tester. Depending on the power supply that you have, you might not have a 4 pin motherboard connector but instead a 6 pin or 8 pin variety. If you have more than one type, only plug in one at a time along with the 24 pin main power connector. Plug the power supply into a live outlet and flip the switch on the back. Some power supplies don't have a switch on the back. If the power supply you're testing doesn't, plugging in the device is sufficient to provide power. As you can see everything has passed. It shows what the voltage should be and what it's actually reading. You should hear the fan inside the power supply begin to run. Just because the fan is running doesn't mean that your power supply is supplying power to your devices properly. Also, some power supply fans don't run when being tested even though the power supply is fine. You need to continue testing to confirm anything. Confirm the LCD on the power supply tester is lit, and you see numbers in all the fields. The motherboard power connectors plugged into the power supply tester support the entire range of voltages that your power supply can deliver, including plus 3.3 volts DC, plus 5 volts DC, plus 12 volts DC, and minus 12 volts DC. If any voltage reads LL or HH or if the LCD screen doesn't light up at all, the power supply isn't working properly, you need to replace it. You're just looking at the LCD screen at this point, so don't worry about any other lights or voltage indicators not located on the actual LCD readout. Check power supply voltage tolerances and confirm that the voltages reported by the power supply tester are within approved limits. If any voltage is outside of the range shown, or the PG delay value isn't 100 to 500 millisecond, replace the power supply. The tester is designed to give an error when a voltage is out of range, but you should check yourself to be safe. If all the reported voltages fall within tolerance, you've confirmed that your power supply is working properly. If you'd like to test the individual peripheral power connectors, continue testing. Turn off the switch on the back of the power supply and unplug. Plug in one connector to the appropriate slot on the power supply tester, a 15-pin SATA power connector or a 4-pin Molex power connector. Don't connect more than one of these peripheral power connectors at a time. You probably won't damage the power supply tester doing so, but you won't be accurately testing the power connectors either. Both of the motherboard power connectors that you connected to the tester earlier should remain plugged in throughout these tests of the other power connectors. Plug in the power supply and then flip on the switch on the back if you have one. The lights labeled plus 12 volts, plus 3.3 volts, 
and plus 5 volts correspond to the voltages being delivered through the connected peripheral power connector and should light up appropriately. If not, replace the power supply. Only the SATA power connector delivers plus 3.3 volts DC. Repeat this process, testing the voltages for the other power connectors. Only test one at a time, not counting the motherboard power connectors that stay connected to the tester the entire time. When the testing is complete, turn off and unplug the power supply, disconnect the power cables from the power supply tester. And we're done. Our power supply tester is a quick way to determine if your peripheral devices are receiving the proper voltage. If the test tells you a device isn't getting the voltage it needs, you will need to replace your power supply. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.